We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Thursday, May 14th, 2015, our last broadcast. Our last one ever. This is so sad. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Don't forget, we have homeroom this morning. Seniors will go to the auditorium. Everyone else goes to their regular homerooms. Again, homeroom today after first block or second period class. In other news, Student Council is taking on an important cause. LMTV's Shannon and Sierra are reporting that story for the last time ever. Joining us are Liv Klein and Rachel Willenberg from Student Council. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for, Thanks having, for having us. us. We've seen the signs in the hall that Student Council is helping promote Melanoma Monday here at Linmar. Why should we be concerned about melanoma? Melanoma is one of the leading causes of skin cancer death. We would like to spread awareness that it is a serious problem and that many people die from it each year, even though it only accounts for a small percentage of all skin cancers. Can you give us some ideas for protecting our skin? Wear lots of sunscreen with at least SPF 15 if you're spending the day at the beach and reapply it every two hours. Avoid tanning beds and stay in the shade. Those are good ideas. Tell us what Student Council has planned for Melanoma Monday. We have Emmy Chapman coming in with her skin machine that tells you how much damage you have on your skin. We are having a Hawaiian day just to spice it up a little bit and a giant poster for all students and faculty to sign in order to support those who have been diagnosed with melanoma. Sounds great. Thanks again for stopping by and telling us about Melanoma Monday. Megan, back to you. Thanks guys, that was really informational. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this installment of Stories from the Counseling Office. Today's story is the story of the lion. Next. I've been here since 1981. So how long have you been here? So sign up for your classes early and get your plans figured out, or you could end up in of the line. Welcome back. Hey seniors, the attendance office will sign your graduation checklist form next week, starting Tuesday afternoon. Your form will only be signed if you have served all your attention hours. You cannot participate in the graduation ceremony if you still owe time. It's time for today's prom update! Don't forget to bring your ID with you to prom this Saturday night. No ID, no dance, you will be sent home. Read Photography will be here to take pictures Saturday from 4 to 9.30. Avoid the long lines and get your pictures taken early and then go to dinner. Remember, everything you need to know about prom is posted on the high school website. Post prom is Saturday night at the Rockwell Rec Center on Collins Road. There will, there will be tons of food, a hypnotist, lots of games, and plenty of fabulous prizes. Juniors and seniors, remember you don't have to go to prom to come to post-prom. Just bring your student ID. Now, for the last time, Nick is here with this morning's sports. Nick? For the last time on the scoreboard, 9-10 girls tennis lost a tough meet against Wash 7-2. Today in Linmar Sports, varsity girls golf will meet at Prairie, or meet, will meet Prairie at Airport National Golf Course at noon. Team dismissed at 10.45. Varsity boys track will host districts at 4 p.m. Varsity's girls track will host regionals at 4 p.m. JV2 girls soccer meet Washington at Kingston, team dismissed at 2.40. JV boys soccer will meet Washington at Kingston at 5.45. Varsity boys tennis will host districts. And in other sports news, this is the last week to sign up your team for, <clears throat> this is the last week to sign up your team for tomorrow night's sand volleyball tournament. Any questions, see Mr. McCauley. That's sports, back to you. Thanks, Nick. In news from the counselors, if you're taking off-campus courses, please remember to return your books to the 1112 Counseling Office. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office or check out their blog or website. Now, Riley joins us with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, the list of TRI members for next year is now posted outside of Kevin McCauley's office. Attention, South Pacific cast. All scripts need to be returned to Mrs. Smith by tomorrow. And if you ordered South Pacific photos from Doug Martin, please pick them up in Mrs. Smith's room. Are you interested in being on the yearbook staff next year? 
Pick up an application outside room C113 today. Applications are due by Mrs. Middlecoff by tomorrow. If you are not able to attend the speech awards on Friday, please see Mrs. Fry for your medals and certificates. That's your code update. For the last time, Megan, back to you. Thanks, Riley. Hey, Nick, what's for lunch? Well, for the last time, it's chicken quesadilla with three fried beans and a dessert or the hot dog bar. The food court, it's sub sandwich bar. That's lunch. Back to you. Your OMTV forecast calls for showers today and a high of 60. Tomorrow, occasional showers are possible with a high of 76. Saturday, for prom, it looks mostly sunny with a chance of storms and a high of 80. Well, for the last time from this crew, that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available <laughs> online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. From the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.